Hi everybody, this is Peter from Offroad Electric and uh, we work again on our tuck truck, building our off-road monster truck uh, by disassembling uh, this one. We will continue where we, uh, where we uh, finished last time, we will continue disassembling these panels over here and uh, taking stuff out of the cab and finally remove it. Let's go! We'll probably remove the batteries, I don't want to touch anything here, so let's lift up the cab and remove the batteries. I might try to remove it from this position, it might be easier to get there, maybe. <clears throat> but the hydraulic over here, it doesn't hold it. It's still descending a little bit, so I don't want to be squished here. We'll see. Very bad access. This needs to go out. That was quick. Ha. <laughs> this nut is 21 and that second one is 22 millimeters. Well, 
design. Uh huh. It seems like those nuts are welded to the frame. That will be easier. Wow, that genius! Thank you, Tatra. Uh -huh. These are probably not. <laughs> uh, of course, they are not. Sometimes I better shut up. It will be better if I shut up sometimes. I can get there. See, and nobody helps me. They just stay here with the camera. <laughs> One is working, five is watching. Do you know that story? <laughs> Get there. <clears throat> okay, finally. It should be only one bolt now. Oh, shit. I have to disconnect one more thing. Yeah, I have to. Hmm. There is a connector uh, for the starting from another vehicle. But... No, I disconnect the box. I don't really know how, but... Let's try something. Okay, it didn't look like that. Okay, hallelujah. Awesome, another piece gone. I like the way I can see everything. I have access to everything. Oh, it's hand. It's so damn heavy. It's about 60, 60 pounds. The battery box. I think I will drop it down and disconnect the bumper. Řekně action, jo? Action! <laughs> Before I remove the bumper, obviously I have to unhook everything what is there. There are a bunch of uh, uh, cables from the headlights and blinkers. There are uh, also uh, a lot of uh, airlines so, and other uh, So I will disconnect it first and then we will drop the bumper. And we will have more room again around the cab. This amount of lines over here, these airlines. I 
think we have all the lines disconnected from the bumper. I think so. So I take off the headlights and blinker. And then I think we can drop it down. Probably. Probably. So let's go. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Is it spinning or unscrewing? figure it out how to put the wrench on the head. Look at that. I couldn't get there anywhere from anywhere else with anything else. <laughs> Similar thing. Mm -hmm. Second set is easy, but this one... So I'm going to get it off of the truck. It's hanging on two bolts. So hopefully nobody is going to get killed. And no line will be tangled to it. You know how it works. Okay. And second side. I hope this is not attached to it. The oil inlet for the for the motor is actually bolted to the bumper. I almost ripped it off. Now I know. Okay, it should be free. I know, I, I thought that, I said it before. <laughs> uh, it should be free here at least. Hopefully we are not going to rip off anything.
awesome So let's take a look what we are going to do next. I have no idea. 